Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on error handling in C long page. So error handling is one of the important topic in the files in C programming. So generally the errors may be occurred during IO operations on a file. So here the typical IO operations are reading data or information from the file, writing data or information into the file, appending data into the file. So these are the generally used IO operations. Whenever these IO operations are done on a file, so errors may be occurred. So the general errors may be occurred in the files or a file is opened with an invalid file name. So here the file name is invalid file name. Maybe some spelling mistake is there. Maybe the file does not exist. So these are the commonly used uh, errors. Second one is a file is opened for one purpose and trying to use for another purpose. Suppose we can open a file for reading purpose but trying to write something into the file. So at that time here the file is opened for reading purpose but you are doing writing into the file. At that time we can get an error. Third point is suppose a file is a hidden file, hidden file, but trying to open that hidden file, so then an error may be occurred. Next, fourth point is if the file is write protected, so then we can get an error. Suppose we can take one file, that file is right protected. So there is no perform of any operation on a file. So suppose if you want to perform a particular operation on a file, we can get an error. Next one is when the data accessed is beyond the EOF character, then we can get an error. So that is, suppose we can take a file, so in that file, so there are some characters are there, so that is uh, 200 characters are there in the file. So suppose we want to read 201 character from the file, then we can get an error. So these are the commonly used errors while performing IO operations on a file. So here first one is a file is opened with an invalid name. Suppose we can take one file but that file can be accessed with an invalid name. Suppose for example, so the file name is palindrome, P-A-L-I-N-D-R-O-M-E but we can access the file name as palindrome p a l n d r o m e so that is some small spelling mistake is there so at that time we can get an error originally the file name is p a l i n d r o m e but we can access it as p a l n d r o m e so here the letter i is missed so then it is the invalid file name. So then we can get an error. Second one is when the data accessed is beyond the EOF character from the file. So suppose we can take a one file. So in that file, so there are 200 records are there. Suppose we, I want to access 201 record from the file, then we can get an error. Next, third one is 
when a file is opened for one purpose and trying to use for another purpose suppose i want to open a file for a reading purpose but i am trying to write something into the file so then we can get an error the next fourth point when a hidden file is trying to open then we can get an error suppose we can take one file that file is hidden so suppose we want to trying out to access that uh, or open that uh, hidden file then we can get an error next fifth point is if the file is write protected so write protected so suppose we can take one file that file is a write protected we cannot perform any operation on a file but i want to write something on the given file then we can get an error so here to handle these errors in c language some error handling mechanisms are used okay to handle these errors so the c language provides some error handling functions so first function is f e o f function second one is f error function first one is f e o f function so this function is used to detect the end of the file character from the given file okay so this file is used to detect the end of the file so suppose there are 200 characters are there so after 200 characters the file is ended okay so this function is used to detect the end of the file character from the given file so the syntax used for f e o f function is f e o f file pointer variable name file pointer variable name so example f e o f of f p where f p is a file pointer next second one is f error so this function is used for detecting an error while opening a file okay here this function is used to detect the error in opening of a file suppose we want to open a file if any error is occurred that error is detected by using f error function so this function returns non zero value when an error is occurred otherwise it returns zero value okay so it returns non zero value when an error is occurred so it returns zero value when there is no error so syntax is f error file pointer variable so example f error of fp so these two functions are used to handle uh, errors while performing either read operation or write operation or append operation on a given file here this program is this program is used for demonstrate the error handling functions here there are two error handling functions are there first one is f e o f second one is f error f e o f function is used to detect an end of file character next f error function is used to detect an error while opening of a given file so how these two functions are used in error handling file program hash include spdio.h hash include co nivo dot h hash include spd lib dot h standard library so void main so file 
पॉइंटर एफ टी क्या सी एच सी एल आर एस सी आर सो एफ पी इज इक्वल टू एफ ओपन सो इनपुट डॉट सी दिस इज द फाइल नेम the mode is a read mode here the file input dot c can open in read mode if yes error of fp so then print printer an error has occurred an error has occurred yes why not yes e o f of f p printf percentage c comma ch ch is equal to f get c of fp so then f close of f p then get c h so here hash include std ivo dot h hash include co mivo dot h hash include standard library dot h void main file pointer fp fp is a file pointer pointing to the data type file here the letters f i l e can be write in capital letters next cap ch clr sr now we are opening the file in read mode by using f open function so fp is equal to f open input dot c comma r mode what is the meaning of this statement the file input dot c can be opened using f open function with the read mode with the read mode okay so suppose while opening and while opening an input dot c file if any error is occurred so we have to check if any error is occurred or not if f error of fp so this function is used for detect an error for opening an given file so for opening this file if any error is occurred so that error can be detected by using f error function suppose if any error is occurred so then print f an error has occurred suppose there is no error is occurred then we can go to the else part while not f e o f of f p okay so here the control goes to end of the file the control goes to end of the file if the if the control if the control is not a end of the file so then it goes to the condition false then printf percentage c ch so ch value is printed
so here the two statements are interchanging so here ch is equal to f get c of fp so then print f percentage c double quotes and comma ch so if the given character is not the end of the file so then read that character from the file by using f get c function that character is assigned to the variable ch so then print that variable so this procedure is repeated until the end of the file is detected end of the file is detected so if the end of the file is detected so then this condition is false then it goes to the statement outside the while loop so then f close of fp then get ch suppose if the file is not the end of the file so then first the character is read by using f get c function from the file by using the file pointer whatever the character that is read that character can be assigned to the variable on the right hand side that is ch so then print that character so this procedure is repeated until the end of the file is detected okay so this is the error handling functions how to use the, how to use these functions in files program thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so divvel srinivas rao so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please forward this videos to your friends in the same college or in other colleges thank you